Yeah, there's been a lot said about Sim and Maverick. You've heard lots of stories and uh, everybody is fed up with stories. So let's just get in, hit some golf balls, put them in a head-to-head. -head. Three woods this time, Max versus the Sim product. Is it going to be anything to split them? Take your guesses now, we'll get testing and we'll decide who comes out on top, at least in the hands of this average golfer. Right, let's get things kicked off then. So, uh, I think we ain't got no tech spec in this video. It is all about whack v whack, and then we'll get some data, see how it compares, and see how they each get to their relative positions, how they get there in terms of launch and spin and all those kind of things. And then we'll get some reality, we'll get out on the golf course and see how they play. Uh, let's just have a quick look at how they are visually. That's the only thing we're going to compare. From the underneath side, I think for me, it's the same max. I like the V-Steel uh, bottom on it, and so from shelf appeal purposes, I lean towards the Sim Max. From the top end, I like them both for very different reasons. They don't, they've got no similarities whatsoever. Love the carbon crown pattern that you see on the, uh, on the Sim Max product, but equally, I like the high gloss finish that you see on the Max. That's the Maverick Max. But it is more of an elongated shape there in that uh, Maverick Max. So that's gonna be something that uh, certainly is gonna be each to the individual. They're probably, I mean, it's a head-to-head. -head. They both have Max in their title, and they're probably geared at similar golfers, but there are some differences within there. But what we're going to do is try and find out those differences, who each product might appeal to, why they're different, and what kind of performance factors that we can find. So to start things off, like I said, let's get whacking some golf balls and collect some data. <laughs> Right, okay, so golf balls hit and uh, data's collected and we won't go into that bit yet because we'll get out on the course before we cast any judgment, but obviously just some immediate feedback from hitting the two side by side, which I've not honestly done. And like I said, one of the biggest things is acoustics. It's slightly different inside and we'll probably comment it again when I get out on the course, but they are very, very different in terms of how they sound and obviously that resonates in feel. And it's, it's so different, they are literally opposite ends of the spectrum. In, and, and that, again, it's not even worth me commenting, if you like, because I think it's something that is going to appeal to you as an individual. But like I said, they are very, very different. Shape from above as well, each time at address, very, very different. Uh, the Max product, again, looks at Max, the Maverick Max product looks to be a little bit more closed at address. And that's, again, I'm not going to check in terms of whether it is or it isn't in terms of from a data position. Uh, or from a tech spec position. What I'm telling you is how I perceive them to be visually at address, and I think that's the all important bit. So a little bit more shut on the Maverick Max product, but again, not a lot to split them in terms of um, very little at the moment. I mean, from what I'm seeing and what I've seen in numbers, not a great deal to split, and then nuances that are gonna be uh, a decision made by an individual. But we've got to get them out on the course Data collected, by the way, is being off the tee, but I've tried it off the mat as well. I think that's going to be the interesting bit next, is what kind of versatility have we got? Are they okay off the tee, but then how do they compare head to head when you're going to use them on the fairway? So uh, yeah, that's where we're going next. Let's get out on the fairways, Conway Golf Club, and we'll carry on this one. Again, setting off at that bunker, which is always my line here with a little bit of cut. It's told a fair old way, and I think that is pretty much exactly where I'd want it to be. Fairly controlled swing, and that's finished. Like I said, bang on where I was wanting it to. It's left of centre in terms of the fairway, and that's a good position on this hole. So over to a tailor-made equivalent. Same shot we're looking at. There it goes. You'll probably pick that one up. I hope you can. We'll get some shot tracer on it. Visually from here, and we'll go again just like we did with the other video that I'm filming at the moment with the driver. We'll go and see where they are in terms of where they've landed, but I think they're almost side by side. So an interesting start in the head to head out here on the course. Nothing to split them to. Right, OK, so in terms of where these two balls landed, this was the Maverick ball, that was the Sim ball. There's probably about eight yards difference between the two. 
and obviously just in terms of quality of strike it would be hard to quantify the difference in distance but there's nothing at all you're talking half a club but the interesting bit and it's in another video but i'm going to link them both together somehow is that if you just look behind me over on that back side there there's a ball that I hit with driver and there's one just a little bit further on again it's sneaked into the rough that again is with driver and there's probably no more than 10 yards splitting this ball the worst three wood ball to the best ball that I hit with driver and I think that's a big message to average golfers I'm never sure you know how much gain we actually make playing driver as opposed to three wood greater control and hardly any drop off in distance but we'll see if that continues around the course It's an unreal pickup, and that is right at the flag. And one of the big bonuses of this uh, of the Maverick Club, I think. And like I said, that was so easy to pick up off that uh, fairly tight lie off this Lynx uh, layout here at Conway. And like I said, picks it up nice and easy. It's something I picked up on the original review. And again, like I said, that was superb ball flight. I managed to get it right at the stick. Now I didn't manage to do that quite as easy with the sim product. Well that's not too bad either to be fair. That one started off a little bit more down the left but cutting in. Definitely didn't pick it up, definitely felt as though it was off the bottom grooves a bit more and that's the bit that does stand out for me in terms of on the fairways. I'll hit a few more balls but for me that is something that is notably different, whereas the Maverick Max has got a big advantage, especially for average golfers who generally get that ball out the bottom grooves when they're playing fairway woods, like I just have done with the sim. It sits flatter to the surface and definitely poses a, an advantage, I think, over what you will see in terms of performance from the sim product. Now, once again, just wanted to get to, for you to see where those positions, where the two balls finish. Quite a big difference there. And like I said, that was all to do with the amount of carry that we managed to obtain from the, uh, from the Max product. Arguably, there's a little hump. You can see the ball on the left of frame. That's the, the, uh, that's the sim product. If it gets over that little bit of a rise and it runs down, there's not too much to split them. But there was a noticeable difference there. And it has bore out in uh, where they finished in terms of uh, on this hole. And I know which one I'd rather be playing as my next shot. And once again just pull that a little bit down the left but that's that lower ball flight that we've seen again from the uh, from the sim product quite noticeably different again got it off the bottom grooves a bit played from a similar sort of lie which was um first cut off the fairway but again i just noticed that a lot more difficult to pick up not the best of swings but again you know that's what's going to happen isn't it let's see what happens with the max so similar down uh, for me, it would always be sort of down that left-hand side of that flag. Well, that's too much cut and it's going to end up in the gorse. Uh, maybe in between gorse, there's a little par three there, it might come up short. But to be honest with you, the point is probably this, is forget where the ball finished because that was again down to the swing that I put on it. Didn't start it off on the right path whatsoever. But... The ball flight difference is huge. It once again just shows they're almost opposite ends. You would never believe they were the same club from playing from the fairway. And I think I'm gonna sort of finish the video there. The assessment is quite easy. No matter what you want to believe in terms of marketing hype and, and different kind of stories, there's different properties within each of these clubs that make them perform differently. That's what I believe, I really do. And for me, for average golfers looking to put a three wood in the bag, my guess would be that they'll find a lot more flexibility. They'll get a lot more use if you want to put a three wood in the bag, then it's going to come from the Max product simply because of how much easier it is in terms of picking that ball up off the fairway. I've seen it in the dry ball data. We've seen it. I mean, dry ball data, we better throw up now, by the way. But what you'll tell from that is there's very little to split them in terms of what we've seen there and, and that drive all day was collected from off the tee and there again i don't think there's any difference it's all about the ability to pick this ball up off of a tight lie and the story between AI, in ai 
was about these uh, different thicknesses of face. Uh, the whole face map was totally different and it was based on where we as average golfers, where the type of player that was going to choose this club, where they're going to hit off the club face and that sort of, again, lowering or widening, if you like, that bottom edge of the sole, sitting tight to the turf, it definitely works 100%. It is easier to pick up if it's a higher ball fly, if that's what you want. And if it's not, well, then you've got a power pack sim there that it's a totally different ball flight altogether. And honestly, it might be more suited out here at Conway. But uh, anyway, that is it. I think uh, I'm fairly pleased with the way that assessment's gone, really. There's not a lot to split them apart from personal preferences, what you want to achieve from a three wood. And after that, like I said, it's all down to your choice, your swing that you put on it, as we've just seen with that last shot. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Comments down below. See you soon.